Hey everybody, welcome back. We are back. A dinosaur story. Not my favorite squad, but a moth can do something. And a fish, I mean, the, the greatest dance partner for a fish, more fishes. Maybe we'll get a little lucky there. Let me be like a snooty scout. That's like, oh, I have my merit badge in Cabernet Sauvignon tasting. You know, something like that. I'll take my draw. Who up mushrooming they hog? <laughs> what a name. You got me. You, you've elicited laughter. Air pushed through my nose at a, at a greater than average pace. Congratulations. Who up mushrooming they hog? The things you see online make your head spin. Now, we're not going to win this one. Got quite the magpie there. Levels. I just want to see a level. We got a level. It's a dream. <laughs> I've, I've decided you're actually trash. So, sorry. I'm not interested. I've decided that maybe we'll roll a flamingo instead. I would rather see you get closer here. And we'll, we'll talk about... If, if another flamingo after the flamingo that's already frozen shows up, I would be happy to level it, run it for a couple of rounds, and then who knows what happens after that. But for now, the extra stats we're getting out of a flamingo have, have proved quite valuable. Although this, this being a, a draw, I really thought we had it in the bag. Holy cow, it worked. <laughs> I, would, I would for real just run this for a second. And then another moth. Dude, it's kind of crazy. You know what? This is actually a beautiful position for a dragonfly. I know I say that often, but it... How dare you? It, it holds true right now as well. Dude, that toad was... It did so much value. We drew again. This is... We could have a level 1, a level 2, and a level 3. Don't know what to say. Dragonfly? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's forgiven. Okay, okay. Oh, and a moth too, it's perfect. So we pop you out here. We pop a moth out here. And then I'm just looking at the squad and I'm like, okay. Would we rather have a mosquito or a flamingo? We would rather keep our flamingo, have the flamingo get buffed. The moth is definitely gonna get buffed. The fish is definitely gonna get buffed. The fish is whatever. It sucks the mosquito got the buff, but that is, I mean, it's stats. Until we sell it, it's still, sta it's still stats. We're just normal men. Stop killing my flamingo before he gets a chance to use the moth's buff, okay? Finally, a hit win. We don't really care for either of these units to level up, crazy as it sounds. And I don't think we care for pineapple mosquito. If anything, the mosquito should go. It's a very prospective cell. That's beautiful, though. You can wait till the next turn. If you're, if you're really in this to win this, you can wait till the next turn. You should certainly take some garlic, because you're getting the buff every turn. Toad could just be on the team, and that would be the level one we'd buff next time. I'm not worried about optimizing the level one buff from the, from the Dragonfly. I'm worried about optimizing the squad as quickly as possible so that whatever unit um, gets the buff is actually going to use it long term instead of just, you know, oh, on this turn the right unit got it. So that was good. I'm content. You're, you're going to get sold right after this, so just em embrace that. <clears throat> We'd probably rather have a lionfish than a than a, a toad. And then I think that for a for a brief period, an orangutan could hit the spot. It is kind of tempting to just run two orangutans, but I, I think the lionfish overriding big equipment will matter. I do think some garlic on oh, that's very nice too. I think some garlic on the flamingo could go kind of hard. And this is the squad. Until we get like monkeys or something like that, th this is how the squad's gonna look. And I'm certainly much more content with this than I have been a lot of the squads we're running recently. We got good stats. We got a right distribution for, for buffs coming from a dragonfly. You take this. It's 
tempting to run two dragonflies too, but uh, it's okay. It's also a very easy build to pilot at this point. Because <laughs> essentially you're just playing go fish uh, and, and trying to spot like animals you already got. And then also don't screw up the dragonfly buff. And, and you can try to play around with the orangutan buff a little bit, but it, I think it matters more once it hits level two. Cow is a beautiful thing. I don't really feel comfortable selling anything that we got, though. There's like a greater long-term look here. And honestly, I don't see the dragonfly leaving. So you take garlic, even though it seems like you're not that strong right now. I could always give a grape to an orangutan. But, uh, I mean, you'd, I was just going to say, you'd be really surprised to not see a level here. So I, I'd appreciate that. Thank you so much. And let's get rid of this. I don't think it's as important as... Buff my flamingo. Ooh, let's go. Okay. So the moth feeding the flamingo is something we're trying to finesse here. I and mean, again, we don't want our flamingo to hit level three. We want, it to, we want to make sure it's receiving all the buffs from the, uh, from the dragonfly that level two units can get. So we're doing okay. Monkeys will, for now, I think they'll, they'll be outscaling the team. But that helps. You are about to buff... We got a ways to go until Flamingo gets buffed. Let's put it that way. For now, why don't you take a lemon? I know that on the Flamingo also makes a lot of sense, but... I feel like we gotta... You know, every unit on the squad having some equipment matters to me. Next level up? I mean, it would be really nice, in my opinion, to get a Lionfish leveled. And you, the Lionfish is doing some incredible work at, like, neutralizing front units for us. I'm, I'm very grateful. We're a very annoying squad to play against, that's for sure. I can see the value of a steak, but I, I don't want to spend on it. Come on. Chocolate. A level two lionfish. <laughs> Precisely what the doctor ordered, okay? Roll me. That's fine. This is very good. Roll me. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about our... Oh, we don't have a level one anymore, so the, the dragonfly is getting a little bit squandered. And we're spreading buffs out on the new units. At this point, though, we're kind of sunk. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> we can't really pivot off of it. Are we... A, a distributed 2-2 two -two buff to two different units every turn? It's not really something to get super excited about, but it's it's something. I'm going to actually buff um, I'm gonna buff you. Maybe the Flamingo gets the HP if we do that. Yeah, I'm going to buff you again. Okay. Flamingo me? Okay. Okay. It's a kind of a race against time. Can we get to 10 wins, hopefully, before like these completely nuts 50-50 squads start to come out? It's, it says something about this weekly that that was the biggest dog I've seen summoned. A 10-10 dog took a level 3 um, fish to make work. Okay, roll me. I would still love a level 3 dragonfly. We're a ways away from making it work, but that's okay. Say roll me. Roll me. Two, a level 3 lionfish could hit the spot too, honestly. <laughs> Overriding three, there's the way most squads work this week. They have like one big unit at the front at a minimum, possibly a Cobra behind that, or possibly a second big unit. Like you're seeing, it's a pretty similar setup here, although this squad's like mid-pivot right now. To be able to override the equipment of like multiple uh, big units at the front is probably enough to, to give you the edge in an otherwise relatively even match. So I do think the level on the Lionfish could matter. Great shot, by the way. Certainly no complaints. I still... I would still classify this as like a race against time. Because I, I, we're not scaling as fast as teams with like... They got an early llama and have been rolling that. Or like a, a crazy monkey or something. Like, I mean, they're, just their cone snail was enough to finish the job there. But luckily we got a lot of HP left to, to play with. I would still say buff you. Now thinking, like, actually, the Flamingo no longer needs garlic. A steak might be a sensible replacement. And maybe a steak on your dragonfly. Maybe a lemon on your, your moth. 
These are inefficient plays, but we're, we only need one more win. We don't need to be efficient. We just need to, we need to get over the top of the hump. Let's go! Okay, that, I don't know if we're making it, but that was a, a huge get. Uh, we're not making it, I'll tell you that right here. The greatest death touch of all time. Okay, so we're, we're in... The alarm bells are starting to ring, no doubt. Why don't you take this and move up? Why don't you take this? It's a very important level, potentially incoming. I'm going to buy this for now. Come on. I, again, we're sunk. We're playing Go Fish. I, I can't afford to pivot off of the squad at this point, in my opinion. We, we got to pray for some form of relief. Can I? Oh, the stake's going to get you. But then you've got mill and armor. I think we did it. I think we did it. Apologize. Apologize for saying the sunk cost fallacy. That was not a sunk cost fallacy. We paid the, sink, the sunk costs and we got the 10 wins. All of us are people who just type sunk cost fallacy all of a sudden when you finish a round. Well, technically, you don't know if you were a victim of the sunk cost fallacy because we will never get an opportunity to evaluate your counterfactuals. Maybe you would have won faster if you... Maybe you should shut your freaking mouth, okay? You dare talk to a 10-piece winner like that? All right, I'm mad at a guy I, I made up in my head. It's been known to happen. That felt good, though. <laughs> it felt, that felt really good. Yes me, yes me, and yes me, and then freeze me. It would be like an overpriced kilt. Like maybe one you got from uh, Yves Saint Laurent. You guys looked at the new kilts this year? The kilt line from Yves Saint Laurent? You guys looked, I don't know where this is going. You guys looked at the kilts they have in the clearance rack at Winners recently? Holy cow. I always love to see a level. I think that to minimize our chances of losing, we run this squad. But this team still looks pretty bad. But we get a level next time. If I level up into a rabbit, my team, <laughs> just so you know, if I level up into a rabbit, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. <laughs> I am going to lose my freaking mind. In the interest of honesty, what would I like to see more than a rabbit? Weasel would be fine. Puppy, dolphin, toad, blowfish. I would not like to see a meerkat. I don't think an aardvark is very good for us, and I don't think starfishes are good this week. But it would give me the opportunity to say, like, starfish is that I wish you... S blowfish is fine. It was as requested. Run a second fish. Freeze the beetle, roll once. I think we need stats. So I would take your level. Yeah. I think you can make puppy work. And this is early enough. A beetle's kind of... Do we have the ability to... Like, I don't want to freeze the whole... And then maybe, like, such as... Okay. Okay, give it a chance, I guess. We want to see no moths. We probably should move the blowfish back one. I, I always end up saying that. Oh, it's a moth. It's just barely strong enough, you piece... We win anyway. Okay, unpunished. I'm not never punished. I Then that's an intentional double negative. I am punished on occasion. And whether or not I like it, it just depends on who's doing the punishing, honestly. Okay, one of those. I will take. Not great. I would say for now, eventually we're not going to want a puppy at the front. Or a, a puppy with meat. But for now, a puppy with meat is okay by me. Let's let it one for one, hopefully, in the early game here. Absolutely beautiful. I never would have anticipated that um, our fish got the two for one. Okay. Legitimate tier threes. The problem is that, like, the blowfish has not gotten any support yet. I think you can sell your otter and run a toad just because it goes crazy. Let's, let's, let's assume moths are going to start to fade away. And we'll move a blowfish to the front to take advantage of the toad. And then we'll buff our blowfish and we'll, we'll talk. Up, I mean, like, it, to me, the squad right now does not seem... Oh, I didn't save any gold. You know what? I, the fish is not long for this world one way or the other. Let's do it now to keep the puppy moving. And it's a spicy play to sell a 5-5 a five five to get a 2-1. You stole my garlic, you piece. 
Holy cow. You want to talk about like a, a heavyweight bout. Maybe you don't want to talk about it. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I'm not rolling pineapple. I'm, I'm happy where we stand. We'd love to see a blowfish. With no levels, we go for toad. And then, oh, I'm <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> no! Mm -mm. Wait, wait, wait. Toad me? That's, that's, the toads could not have turned out better than that. Or the, I guess it's technically the blowfish. Well, you know what it is, though? Like, I, I think I gotta be true to myself here. The puppy is actually, like, almost no longer a part of our game plan. Dolphin kind of close, but... Like, I think at this point, I would rather put a banana on the puppy, which I know seems idiotic. However, banana on puppy means we could pill it and create an early monkey. And it, honestly, like, if I'm just being legitimate with you, the puppy had its chance. It didn't take off. So be it. Now we're trying to create a big blowfish, and we got a monkey out there, like, earlier than you would expect. This should help us scale faster than any team, than, except for, like, dragonfly teams. Wait a minute, I'm still okay. And dragonfly teams will fall off earlier than us. So I actually feel like this was, like, an insanely... A little bit of luck, but also, like, an insanely good pivot. I have absolutely no quarrel with this. Now, I'd roll once. I literally was just gonna say, I just want to see if I get a banana. Because if I get a banana... Well, yes, okay. I, I would genuinely pill this moth next... Because I don't want to take my level up yet. I would pill this moth next turn. It's a four-cost monkey, but that's... It's a guaranteed four-cost monkey. I'm ignoring the opportunity cost a little. I'll, I'll be honest about that, but... I think it makes sense. And on three life, I don't feel I don't feel too bad about it. This team is better than us. Like I said, Dragonfly team is gonna it's gonna have a chance to go off. We play this. Friends summoned give 30% of attack to it. I, I've seen it work. I I don't know if I possess the capabilities to make it work myself. Garlic ain't the ain't the squad here. Monkey is definitely the squad. I mean, <laughs> have I gone a little crazy? Maybe I have. Maybe I have, brother. What's it to you? I'm freezing. No, because we have chocolate now. That's an easier way to get monkeys. Okay. An orangutan. Would it? It would. We we can't afford to be too picky because we're about to kill like half the squad. But a fifteen twenty two garlic blowfish on turn. Was it turn nine? It's a pretty strong setup. It's not going to be strong enough. And that, that burns me up inside. But we're, we're pretty close. We're on one life. Okay, so we, we got we to gotta make it work now. But can I tell you like a little sneaky... A sneaky positive aspect of this run right now? That's very nice, too. And we'll, we'll focus on the... Working this around in a second. I still do want the orangutan, if possible. Um, I hope we live. I mean, this is a very strong-looking front line. And the toad goes insane. I forgot what I was saying two seconds ago. But I, I promise you it was important. Please hit this llama. Do we have enough? Oh, I think we got enough. Dude, that's... This is transformative. Oh, what I was gonna say is... Another thing I'm actually optimistic about on this team is, like, um... Because we had that... We had so many open positions, it's actually easier for us to... To set up, um... Higher tier units. Whereas normally, when I find myself in this position... Buff the monkey? Oh, that's fine. I, I want you to buff the monkey so that the cobra gets buffed by the orangutan! Thank you so much! <laughs> I don't know how transformative that'll be, but I do appreciate it. I buffed itself! I'm a fool! Normally, I'm like, oh, I can't sell my 15-15 my fish. It's too strong. But on... Don't, don't, you, don't you dare. 
On this run, I'm like, dude, we had so much open space, we could sell anything. Wait, am I toasted? Confirm toasted. Well, you know. Was that five? <laughs> I felt very smart while I was doing it. That is not how it went down in the in the long term, though. Okay, this time I'm actually gonna freeze a magpie. Let me get uh, let me be like an imported fry, like a Belgian free. I don't know what makes a Belgian frit a Belgian frit, okay? I'm just, I'm literally just one man. There's just too, there's too much stuff to know about in the world these days. Using your signal lights, backup cameras, other stuff not at all related to driving. Two otters. Say no to the cone snail, say yes to two otters. Magpie I got just because it's a great vessel for, for moth buffing. And... What a vessel. <laughs> ah, never mind. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, never mind. Sell me. Buy me, don't hit a cone snail. Buy me, don't hit a cone snail. One out of two ain't bad. I can't be that upset. Do not put me behind the cone snail. The, the, it just has to go, okay? And the, the reason it has to go is because it's just, it has no long-term future. Stork does. Moth at this point probably doesn't. Magpie at this point probably doesn't. Let's embrace the fact that our squad is terrible. You know what that gives us? It gives us flexibility. My Storka. That early weasel's kind of sick. I would, I would love, I mean, just the, the weasel's ability is pretty good. The faint gives you one gold. When it faints, it gives you one gold, to, to be clear. Sell me, buy me. Freeze me. Roll me. I'll take some honey on a, uh, take it on a, on a, on a, <laughs> I'm going to take it on a, Fish for now, and I know that looks idiotic. <laughs> Why? Well, I feel like the moth normally would be the pick, but it's the least likely to get a level up, which means it's probably the first to be sold if we get a better unit. But then, oh man, a 5'9? Holy cow. It's also like many people have told me that's the ideal height for a man to be. Are many people my mother? No, I wouldn't know because I'm 5'10. Turtle. So I think you're gone. Although, maybe a moth beats an otter here. I feel, I feel vindicated somewhat. Or, or anti-vindicated? I don't know. I would still say our squad is pretty heinous, though. We don't have my preferred um, setup. My preferred setup is basically just lucking into, like, beautiful scaling. That was very lucky right there. We did not luck into an early dragonfly, but there's still a chance for us to luck into um, an early monkey. True. Salad me. Salad me. Not bad. We're going to go crazy. I'm going to say salad me because we have our level coming up anyway. Wow, these units are not good. <laughs> um, we're, we're coasting on stats right now, and of course the, the turtle's uh, melon armor is very useful. Raccoon's not stealing anything. Don't get it twisted. We are, we're going down on this one. We're going to have two life left. I don't feel that, I feel like we should be in a worse spot given our units though. It's an extremely plausible Doberman pivot. This will give us a tier five. Okay. This will give us a tier three or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll give us a level two tier three. So for one pill, we could generate two gold and see if we want to keep going this way. Okay, so watch this. One pill, kill me. Level two weasel. I mean, we could run that for a turn. It is a six eight. We're going to unwind the fish. It had its chance. We're going to buy a goat. We're going to sell... The beetle is not giving us many stats. We're gonna sell the beetle. I mean, keep in mind, like a lot of this squad has to get sold in order to make the, in order to make it work. 
Like we need to sell everything but the Doberman and the and the goat. Ideally, I'd like to pill the turtle rather than selling it. And if you can, <laughs> beautiful. If you can pill the turtle and turn it into honey, or not honey, but a, a banana, which turns it into monkey, then maybe, just maybe, there's hope for us yet. Although I'm a little skeptical. This is okay. So we're gonna be on lethal. It's gotta start popping immediately. What I would have given to have not had such a, a horrible squad up to this point. So it's gotta be like, hit me, pill me. We could have also just pilled the turtle. To, oh, I should have put that on the goat. Yeah, no, I forgot we would get both of the benefits. So that's, that's very true. I will just say we have bigger problems. Like we're not worried about you getting the buff just yet. You, we would like to pill. God, that would have been an amazing time for a pill to show up. <laughs> and we need to buff the Doberman because that's the win condition for the whole run. But we can't, literally, we can't afford to lose. So I think we're probably toasted. You stealing my melon armor on that raccoon is going to live rent free in my head. I'm just checking to make sure we got time. We got time because I don't, I don't like going out like that. That one, that one hurt me deep in my soul. We're getting a little creative with it. I still like, and again, you could. You could take this in bad faith if you want to take this in bad faith. It'd be like an extra bright personality. How about that? Um, although sniffing advisors, I bet you see a lot of that on Wall Street. Am I right? Am I right based on my preconceived notions of the, of the finance industry? My God. We drew. I'll take it. Um, forget what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to, yeah, as I always say... I was going to say our shops were not kind to us. That's not fully true. Our shops were not kind to us in the early game. They were pretty kind to us once we had already lost too much HP to reasonably have made a comeback. Or maybe we should have prioritized the coconut armor, but it's like, it's such a big ask to pivot on the Doberman. But when it works, it feels so freaking sweet, dude. I'll be honest with you, it's a very strong team. You got, you got a lot of work out of your mosquitoes there. I'm just happy I'm still going to be on five life. I'll take it. Not interested. Sounds crazy, but if the opportunity is there, sure, sure. If the opportunity is there to get a level three, I do think it makes, basically if you get a dragonfly on your turn five level up, you're like, you're cruising. We're gonna have a good chance on this one. This crew is good. What a name. Clutch Al Pacino reference. I would say sell. Sell. And Hero Beetle is fine. Maybe not amazing, but fine. Freezing a pill at this stage of the game seems apropos to me. Rather go for stats. Don't hit my mosquito. Thank you. I mean, as, here's the thing. At some point, are we going to want to sell the hero beetle? Yeah, but until then, I'll be happy that it's got a 1-1. One, one. We'll take what we can get right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, hang on. Oh, it's so close. It's so close to a win. Maybe if we move the... Ah, but we can't afford to move our, our tanky, our strongest unit to the back. It's just not the way it's... It's just not done. I really don't want to pill the flamingo for no value. Or for th that's what I want to see. I want to see my level. I want to see an otter. Another hero beetle. Thank you so much. I'm still figuring out what the heck I'm doing here. <laughs> we did not get the scaling, and now I'm kind of like, I'm looking at my squad, and these are like units I do not typically run at this stage of the game. My opponent has, uh, has a rooster, which is. Yo, pretty good unit. How'd you end up with that? How'd you get that rooster? Don't lie to me, Walt. Okay, lose some more. Put me in the in the mediocre pools. I'll be better off down there. I would definitely say buy me. Not interested. I would definitely say uh, buy me. I'm very interested. <laughs> I, I can't help it. <laughs> 
Um, and then, so we, I, I think this time we actually have time to try the pivot. So you're a six seven. Why don't you? Why don't you? Uh, 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 um, I think this makes sense for now. And none of you will be sticking around. So forget the garlic. You're obviously gonna level next turn. I, I double clicked. I got lucky. We we can't do anything with our gold unless you want to take the level this time. And I really don't. So I think we're rolling. But what are we looking for on our rolls? Literally nothing. Like, there's no point in rolling. <laughs> I don't think one Doberman by himself is going to win, okay? So I think if, if we recognize that there's nothing to do with the, with the gold that we have right now, I'm going to put garlic on you. Why would I put garlic on you when it's eventually going to be overridden with coconut armor? Because garlic on anybody else is just going to be sold. So at least until we get the triggers to work on the Doberman, we're, we're happy that he's got some sort of defense, even if it's not much, and it, it, it really isn't much. Holy cow, we're going to draw. Let's go! Okay, the drawing on your Doberman pivot turn seems very bullish to me. Actually, it seems very doggish more than anything else, but... Okay, hey, give me a tier five. Huge. Sell me. This is a very important turn. Buy your tier five. Place it right here. Maybe it doesn't matter. Um, set, level me. Get another tier five. Incredible. Now... Pill me, so we get the buffs on the units we want the buffs on. I'm realizing, I'm like, do I have enough time to actually do this before I go to daycare pickup? I didn't expect it to be so big brain. <laughs> sell me, then sell the Hercules beetle so that the buffs flow this way. We want to make sure that they go to the dog twice. Beautiful. Now you come back to the front. Then you get a cow, and I still think you buff your Doberman first. Just because it, it getting the coconut armor is so important. And then the roll, the only thing that could matter is equipment. And, and there you go. I think we'll still put the Doberman second, just in case we get some triggers off the Triceratops. I don't expect it to matter that much, but... Well, at least our coconut armor didn't get stolen. Maybe it mattered a lot. Holy cow. Did he, did he get something cooking? Now remember, you can't really do much here. It, it, you basically just have to buy foods, and a, a blueberry is is just not good enough. You could freeze a a pill and pill someone with a banana, but at this point, monkeys can just show up in the shop. So I think it started starting on the next round. So I think you unfreeze the pill heading into this round. Hang on. Very small buffs, but it's something. Now, it, don't get cocky. We, we made it through what might be the hardest part of your average Doberman run, but we still need to get the scaling up, and we do not have that yet. So I would say, like, this is good. I would also say a beluga that eats a silver fox. Beautiful. A beluga that eats a silver fox seems like an easy way to possibly get some extra gold, and we technically are kind of five squatted at least. Um, and I would definitely think about what to give the chocolate to. I think you can give it to the Triceratops, but I'm not really sold on the Triceratops really being that good, honestly. Even though my opponent has one. I mean, he saw how bad it was, or they saw how bad it was for them, I'm sure. <laughs> And it, and I'm sure you probably... Oh, we don't even need to do it that We'll do it this way. And that's very nice indeed. Now there's a part of me that thinks we just put you up at the front. And then... Toss a walrus out. Here. Roll once just to see how it shakes out. I'm not giving the chocolate to anybody yet. I'm sure... Listen. Again, I know we've, we've been down this road. 
Having the silver fox at the front to guarantee you get that one extra gold in all likelihood does make sense. But and, and this is gonna make me look like a fool right here. But just the way that the average team has been constructed up to this point, it definitely seems to me like people put their best unit up front. So to just blow it out with damage invulnerability seems very important to me. Now I'll say the cow served his purpose. You're gone. Monkey comes out. I recognize we still have something frozen. I'm going to take a little lark here and say we go for the monkey. Nothing else. Nothing else. Pretty horrendous uh, shop, honestly. I'm okay with my order. I have eight minutes. <laughs> so, however, however you want to do this, let's make it fast. What's up with the, um, with the, the German Shepherd up at the front? I feel like if you put that at the back, you might get more mileage. Then again, look at me. Look at me giving people order criticisms. When I hate being criticized on my own order. Stay buffed, Marshmallow Man. It's tempting to put a Cobra out here. But like Death Touch. I think, honestly, I think you do run the Cobra. And I apologize to the Beluga. The order is so scuffed. Like, what is our Triceratops going to do? <laughs> now the order is not great. You, I don't know, maybe you do need a pineapple, maybe you don't. I'm hoping to get some chocolate. What do we got? Round 12 with a coconut armor Doberman. 21-22. It needs, in my, in my estimation, it could use a little bit more sauce. I wouldn't describe it as, as sauceless yet. But it, I, I definitely would not say heavily sauced. Go ahead and take it. Level. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make the Triceratops pop. I'm gonna we, you know we lost the last round quite annoyingly. We, we the problem with the Triceratops is we needed to at least get one trigger to justify its existence, and if it just gets blown out. Then it, then what the heck was it even doing there? Doesn't even, it doesn't even have to be there. If it's just gonna get blown out. Okay, great, great tiger, honestly. Well, be careful what you wish for. It looks like I'll be able to leave with time to get some groceries too. You're a tricky one. I'm gonna give you a chance, man. Just cause you're, you're already almost there. There you go. Now don't, <laughs> Don't make me regret this, okay? I'll admit that the walrus is in a weird position on this team. Please just get, like, like two triggers would be so sick. Mm, no crits? No crits? It didn't crit. One trigger! I'll take it! Losing the pineapple kind of stinky, though. Okay, we won. I don't know where we're going though. Cause like I'm there's no point to making you like a level two. You scale up even faster, please. Okay, that we, we did give you nine nine this turn. You're now almost at fifty. That's a pretty quick glow up. If I, I'm gonna say if I could get you to give me three triggers, I would be in love. I'm gonna accept uh, one trigger. <laughs> the order actually worked out nicely for us with the coconut armor here, so I can't really complain. And now I'm back to checking the clock, but we got we got plenty of time. But what am I doing with this walrus, brother? You know what could be interesting? I'm okay with it. And you know what I'm thinking? is you come up to the front now to hopefully blow out their unit. We could run a goat. I'm hoping for something a little better. I guess I guess we'd like tiger, cobra, maybe, but it's a bit of a... I mean, this squad is... It looks psychotic. We do really well against lemons. We do horribly against melons. Lemons. Lemons. Let's go! My cobra! And yet, and such as, and yet, and such as. Okay, we're up to eight. He's crazy posting. Very important. Possibly very important. 
not that important, but honestly, you with a lemon could go crazy. I'm not saying tens in the cards. I'm just saying maybe there's a shot, okay? No melons, no coconuts. No melons, no coconuts. It's a level three Doberman. <laughs> and they overwrote my stuff. My Cobra lived. My Tiger died. My Cobra lived. Give me my coconut armor. It already got shot, didn't it? Okay, I don't know what I was praying for then. Anyway, it was still fun. <laughs> I still had a good time. And I'm leaving right on schedule. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm said a great deal. I'll see you next time. See ya!